person in Vegas, Henderson, Nevada, who now I can tell her name, but I've kept it secret for, let's see, 88, 98, 1,008, 30 years, uh, and she, at her request, and her name is um, Jerry Hinkle, and... Oh, I know her. I know her. She's she's involved with the Dulce story, isn't she? Right. So Tom gave me a letter from Cherry, and it said that uh, the letter said um, that she had a friend who was a uh, guard at Dulce and had gotten out of Dulce with uh, some videotape, some black and white photos, and a hundred pages of technical information. And Tom gave me this, he said, John, I don't have time to go out there or research this. Would you mind contacting this lady? So when I got back to Vegas, uh, I called Cherry and we set up several meetings. And uh, she gave me uh, the pen, pencil drawings that she had made from the black and white photos that the guard had given her. Those black and white, or those uh, pen drawings are right in that file cabinet. I still have them. And from those, I traced in uh, black felt tip so that you could uh, see exactly the, the pen drawings were were not that clear I made them much more clear and I typed some of the information and uh, I was able to prove that I was the one that typed it because the typewriter face was an IBM executive uh, typewriter that had proportional spacing, five spaces for each letter, and it was the only one of that type uh, that currently, or, or was in use, and uh, I was able to prove that that was the typewriter that that, that information was typed on. So, Okay, what was the information though? The information was about uh, Dulce and uh, the the vats and everything else. It's a fascinating story, and so you you talked to Cherry, and she knew the security guard. There was a a box that was hidden on top of a mountain. Six boxes. Six, six boxes that uh, the guard had made. They were uh, sealed very carefully, waterproof, everything proof, and he gave one box to six friends, and he said. If I miss contacting you, uh, three, two contacts in a row, you can do with whatever you want with these boxes. The information in it was uh, seven or eight minutes of videotape uh, taken in a corridor at Dulce, uh, 25 black and white photos, and 100 pages of information. And so Cherry told me about this, and she said that she had hidden her uh, box uh, and she would take me there and it was uh, at um, <clears throat> uh, some between here and Kingman, Dolan Springs. It had hidden Dolan Springs on uh, the side of the mountain. I don't think it was at the top on the side. Anyway, Cherry and I drove down there and she showed me, pointed to the mountain or the side of the mountain where it was, and the contacts uh, were supposed to be every four months, and if he missed two, that means eight months, that she they could do whatever they wanted with the contact. So anyway, it was 1996 until uh, he missed two contacts, and he told me, or uh, the guard told Cherry that they had bounty hunters. Uh, and they were very professional what they did. They were ex-bikers and stuff like that, and he was sure that they would get him 
I think he went down to Costa Rica, or, and I don't know the facts about what they, how they got him or if they got him. But anyway, he missed two contacts. Cherry went with um, several friends of mine. I believe one was Bill Worsline, or not Bill Worsline, um, Bill, um, who's the Bill that we know? Hamilton? Hamilton. Hamilton. Bill Hamilton. Seriously. And um, I didn't know Hamilton got involved with this. I think he was. And um, before this, when we, when I first met Cherry, she let me see these pencil drawings. And it was from those drawings I made the black and white felt tip copies and I typed uh, some of the information on this typewriter and I sent those out to my friends and that's what became known as the infamous Dulcy papers. And uh, I didn't put my name on the drawings, I guess I should have, but I didn't. But uh, they were my drawings and also the typewritten information was, was typed on my IBM executive typewriter. <clears throat> right. Now, did you know, uh, because I've been interviewing Mark Richards, who is part of the Secret Space Program, a captain. His wife, Joanne Richards, is also uh, someone on the circuit talking about his story. But he claims that his father was an Air Force pilot called the Dutchman, and that he and his father bro flew into Dulce. Uh, they, were, they sent on a mission to actually rescue the humans. And, uh, and so I, did you ever encounter Mark Richards? You know, I've heard that name, but I don't remember in what context. Well, he's in jail for 30 years, framed for a murder. Oh. He didn't commit the murder. He was, he's framed for being the mastermind. Uh, but I've already had his, his story verified by a number of people. And uh, he's, I've been visiting him now for two, three years. And I just came from he there to here. Uh, so he is very involved in the Dulcie story as well. And uh, Sean David Morton, I don't know if you've been in touch with Sean, is also someone who was given a record from a, a guy who, he didn't really die necessarily, we don't know what happened to him, but he was supposedly the head of Area 51 back in those years. And he became the head of, he was over Dulcie as well. And he, he disclosed, he's now written a number of books about it uh, based on this, this man's notes that were given to him by a lawyer of the man. And uh, I forget the name, the name he uses, but I think it's a fake name anyway. But he's a fascinating man, uh, and, and Sean has got his story. And that also comes into the Dulcie story. And he talked about an alien that ran Dulcie that was not like the normal greys. He was, uh, if I remember, taller, and I don't think he looked like a grey, but he, you know, whatever kind of being he was, is, I think, uh, related to what we call Archons, the most, the closely related to that. He considered himself royalty, uh, alien royalty of some kind, and that it was one guy who ran Dulcy and was a very diabolical character. No idea if the, this guy's still running Dulcy because Dulcy's still there. Uh, but uh, y you ever hear that? Yeah, I've heard parts of these stories. I, I, I have a contact, I'm not going to say his name, who said he knew where one of the boxes, he had one of the boxes or knew, and it was buried at top of a mountain. Um, a very dangerous mountain that had all kinds of electronic force fields around it and stuff. And that people had tried to go up and dig it up and been unsuccessful for a number of reasons. There was some kind of, I don't know if there were wolves or dogs or what, uh, that were up there. And uh, it was very forbidden kind of country, you know, side and all that. Because uh, I know that, you know, you, you never went, did you go, you went near Dulcie? Near. Yeah. And, of course, uh, let's see, what's the guy who they, they kind of made go crazy, who was also watching Dulcie back in those days? Starts with a B. Um, Bill Schneider. 
Uh, no, but I guess he also had an he had an encounter down in Dulce. Is that right? Where he killed he the alien. He says he did. I don't believe the story. You don't believe Phil Sch Schneider's story. No. Why not? Because people that knew Phil said that he was more interested in in uh, the uh, the notoriety that he got, um, the fact that he did in fact work at an underground base, but it wasn't Dulcie, and that he worked him way into the what was called the Dulcie Wars. Uh, it wasn't a war. What happened was. And I knew all this before any of this information came out. These 44 scientists were being given this briefing by a gray uh, at Dulce uh, in a uh, auditorium, small auditorium. And for whatever reason, a Delta Force security guard who should have known better because they were all briefed do not go anywhere near a gray with any kind of weapon or ammunition because you will be killed immediately for whatever reason this security guard walked into this auditorium and the gray killed him immediately and this was witnessed by the other delta force who were watching all of this on a monitor and they sent down uh, a number of people, I believe it was 22 Delta Force, uh, to take revenge, and the Gray killed everybody, the Delta Force and the scientists, and that was 66 people, and that became, somebody named it the Dulce War, it was not a war, it was a mistake, by the security guard. Now, how did that story, if all those people were killed, how do you think the story came out? I don't know, I think, I'll have to think about that, but I think um, Cherry told me, and I think the security guard told her. Okay. Because it happened in 69, and it was before he decided to make his his escape. Right. Um, Paul Benowitz, that's the guy I was trying to remember. Benowitz was also wa watching Dulcie. And uh, that's when... Um, uh, Richard Doty, uh, his, he and a bunch of agents were assigned to basically make him go crazy, to think he was crazy. And I think they were partially su successful.